Hey, good morning and welcome to At Dawn. And we're looking at the book of Lamentations today. The prophet Jeremiah is lamenting and we're listening in. So we're at Lamentations 3 verses 16 to 18. Let's see what it says. He has also broken my teeth with gravel and covered me with ashes. You have moved my soul far from peace. I have forgotten prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope have perished from the Lord. This is a pretty grim section. His hope is perished. Well, tomorrow morning, this we're just taking three verses here. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see there's there's still hope. But there are times when, as a worker for the Lord, you feel like, you feel almost hopeless. You just feel like nobody's listening. I don't see the the fruit of my labor. I don't see, you know, I'm planting all this seed, but who knows if any of it's going to ever take root. That's God's business, not yours. You know, you sow the seed. You be faithful in the, the particular tasks that God gives you. God will take care of the rest. But for the prophet, Jeremiah, he feels he feels like God has led him into this work, and this work is, is just totally futile. It's totally fruitless. He has broken my teeth with gravel. I'm far from peace. There's, there's no real indication that you're working. Well, there probably is, but you know, the devils are always working to cause us to feel hopeless. They, they just can't stand it when we're trying to do something for the Lord, however large or however small. Even if it's small, God can use it in a massive way in his kingdom. So we are selling ourselves short most of the time. Let's relax. God's the judge. You're not the judge. I'm not the judge. Let's do what we can for the Lord Jesus. Here's another thing to think about. I mean, it sounds like Jeremiah is pretty, pretty low right now. You know what? When you're down on the ground looking up, there's nowhere else you can do but, but go up. You can only go up from there. And so Jeremiah, he had some pretty terrible, discouraging times. He had some times when he was actually down in the pit in the mud and thought he was going to die of starvation down there and, and who knows what other terrible things. But you know what? The Lord preserved him and brought him back. The Lord will help us no matter how deep, how dark the dungeon we're in. He'll give us courage and strength to fight our way through. Another thing to keep in mind and maybe a lesson we can draw today as we look at these verses is all of God's people are real people. I mean, they have real feelings. Sometimes they're, they're joyous, rejoicing feelings. Other times there's a lot of uh, discouragement there. And many times our repining and discouragement really, really is in that, maybe in the sin category. But anyway, the Lord will lift us up. We need to trust in him. But, but we're real people. God knows that. He understands. He is working to help us and bring us back along. Tomorrow will be a better day. And the Lord is still on our side tomorrow. A lot of times we just need a new perspective we need to lay down, get an appropriate amount of restful sleep, and start all over again the next day. Things look a lot different a lot of times in the morning. At the end of the day, you're discouraged and worn out. The next day, you're fresh. And of course, you start your day with the Lord, praying with his word. Better than oatmeal. Great way to start your day. Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you are for your people. Even though Jeremiah feels terrifically discouraged in these verses, you are on the throne. You are there for him, and you are going to give him encouragement, and we're going to see some of that, I believe, tomorrow morning in the next few verses. But in the meantime, Lord, there's a lesson for us. It's okay that sometimes our feelings are higher, and sometimes they are lower. You are our God. We're not going to uh, be defeated by our feelings. Lord, strengthen and encourage us, and be with each one who's listening for all their challenges today. Lord, we ask you in Jesus' name, be our helper. Amen. And so God stands ready to be your helper today, and he will renew your strength like the eagles.